Hey everybody, I know y'all probably have been wondering where I've been. Been busy. You notice the 327, the other one's not here. That's off getting cleaned. Uh, the crank's getting off, off getting turned for that. Pistons are there cleaned and waiting. Rings are on the way for those pistons. They took a special ring. I uh, got this one knocked on getting balanced. Uh, have not got the 357 intake. But there is the replacement one. Uh, and we got a new shop edition. I'm kind of getting tired of not being able to pick stuff up. And I've already thought of new things for this. But so I'm happy to have that finally. I've had chain hoists in the past, but I don't have the ceiling height for the chain hoist, so... And this is, I've thought of more uses, because now, like there, I've got my card out here to where I can use that. But getting stuff, like to lift that block up onto that, that's starting to hurt. Well now, I can bring that, and I've got a couple of these slings here. Uh, I got this. To where, like, when the blocks are upside down, I can sling up my crankshafts and lift my cranks and s hopefully set this, set them in with this or whatever. Because uh, I'm getting to where it's hurting too much to lift this stuff. Uh, we got the head bolts for this one now. So, and then I brought this home. That's a sleeve for a motor. Don't know what size it was, but somebody had a bad day. She cracked. And he's like, well, it's broke. I said, I don't care. I just want it for a shop decoration. That was a big sleeve. And myself, if I had a lathe, I'd find where the crack was. And if it was still long enough, I would have just repositioned it because most of these are universal and cut it off. But, uh, yeah, uh, so now my friend come down early this morning here, well, not real early, I overslept this morning, and uh, up in the attic I got a 6'6", six 2x2, six, two two, quarter wall, then two grade 8 bolts coming down through, and uh, that's what we got, and uh, it does work, so... Uh, that's another 350 that's been laying here that I might have some rods for over here. I mean, I'm trying to get this stuff used up and turned into motors and get some builds finished up. Uh, I've been doing a lot off camera and you now a couple of years like, hey, do some videos. Well, hey. If I find it boring, and I know some of you guys don't find some that don't get to do this stuff every day, think it's pretty good. But at the same time, if I think it's boring, I'm like, I don't want to record it. Oh, that's falling. <laughs> oh, I gotta sit down for a second because. Yeah, when we were working here this morning, I about hit the ground outside. For some reason, lost my balance, and I don't know why. But, yesterday I had one of those days, too. Everything I'd done, uh, I, it's been a long time since I had one of those days where I couldn't even stand being around myself. Uh, <laughs> I had my turn signal on, turning off the one highway, car behind me, not paying attention. Turn signals work on Snowball, they're nice and bright. And I'm slowing down to make my turn, and it's, Wah! well, yeah, it showed them they were number one too, but uh, I'm like, really? Just because you can't pay attention that somebody's on the brakes with a turn signal. Uh... So when I come back from the machine shop, I took gravel roads, so I just 
I got back here and then I worked on that piece of metal for the attic for this hoist and yeah drilling the holes I was just and then this morning I started out I was like off balance I, uh, it's one yeah I thought boy this is not the way I wanted the day to start so but yeah I'm trying to get to where I'm not hurting near as much or hurting myself and uh, so I went and picked up that hoist the other day and I really want to keep going on this and but this stuff is starting to hurt everybody keeps telling me I'm getting old well uh, they might be right <laughs> anyway uh, so yeah got that 60 over 327 build coming up we got a 355 build coming up which might be a short block that will be for sale a four bolt main short block so you can put a cam lifters whatever you want in it after that actually I might have two short blocks for sale I got a, another one down there uh, I've been really kicking around the idea I moved stuff around and found out I had more 327 stuff than what I remembered I've been thinking of kicking around the idea of doing one of those uh, 327 cranks in a 400 block or I'm going to use one of the 400 blocks and use up my new 400 pistons to make a th another cheaper version of my 377 or I need to find four 400 blocks and then I'll build all those combinations but uh, right now we're just aiming to finish what we got here uh, that 406 there I gotta get that balanced and that block will need to be decked but uh, uh, new year new prices things are going up well as we know everything's going up but uh, yeah I got the hoists up and I'm thinking about working on the 357 I got a little bit of silicone to scrape off the new intake then I got to drain down the cooling system down low enough to be able to take the intake off without getting water into that oil and then we can change that out put it back together and hopefully it will be fixed because when that intake comes off I got that and two other intakes I'm going to go and get surfaced and boy, hey, shops must not like surface and intakes anymore because they're sure pricing themselves out of a uh, works work. But uh, yeah, so yeah, we got some builds coming up. Uh, then I'm going to have a shop motor that will be for rent or loaner for some fun. So. We'll just see how things go. I don't want to jinx it like last year. Last year, a lot of things started looking good, and then what happened in March? Yeah. And next month will be a year since I was sick for over a week. And uh, anyway, but yep, I, my buddy and I, we hung this block off that and. The thing that made the most noise was the uh, <laughs> cable on the hoist. And then I had to move a couple of holes, which I, I got to remember to put something up there and plug them. But uh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, well. I guess it's just going to be a kind of update video because after this I'll be working on that. But, uh. What, cat? You got food, water. You were spoiled. <laughs> At, uh. Yeah. Anyway, I guess I'm just kind of getting space now. I don't know. I just ran out of stuff. So, anyway, everybody, 
uh, stay tuned because right after this video is uploaded I should have have this one done that video will be made and uh, yeah uh, having the hoist is gonna I see many benefits of having that now like I said uh, setting the cranks into the blocks and uh, that will be a lot nicer I don't understand why I'm getting so weak, but it's getting there. But anyway, I guess that's that. And I'm going to get busy around here. So just stay tuned. We're going to wrap up the 357. Probably work on that 40 over 400. I still think I need a... Well, I got a oil pump now. I got, call, I got, to, get, I got to get a couple of pieces to go with that. Actually, I will go find that and order that online while I'm thinking of it. Get them coming. But I th actually think I need a oil pan for that one yet. So, but anyway, everybody, right, keep yeah, keep going. Well, there's the Offenhauser intake. It's off. I've got this all cleaned up, ready to go. Got the replacement intake ready to go. And, uh, yep. I'm going to get ready to bolt it on. So, let's see if I can get you guys set up here. Good. See what you guys are seeing. A little more junk around here. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna turn on another light. Of things leading up to a bunch of things and just trying to get things done. So these were the 90314-1s that was sent with the intake, so that's what I'm going to use. And Just to make sure it seals. I'm using the right stuff. So I do not want to pull this off again. Sorry about that. Took a phone call. Uh, Why I did that? Kept going, and uh, just got the bolts ran in finger tight. I went through and hand tightened them, and now we're going to torque them down. sure they are sealed. Let 
and look up for your own. on that one. Really? Yeah, no. Huh. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to see what's going on with that bolt. Well, we got nice, good squeeze out on the back. Squeeze out on the front. Distributor set back in. And uh, now I can put the carburetor and all that back on. So, I want to sit down and take a break, though. Oh, there you go. It's to this point. I don't have that up. I got to find another thermostat housing. Uh, we're getting a pretty good skin on that stuff, so let's see. Maybe you guys over here. Come on. Thank you. Yep. Let's see. This shop would have been full of smoke to where you couldn't even uh, stay in here. So, I guess there is something wrong with that intake. I don't know. I don't understand it. But yeah, baby, it's alive. It's alive. And you know what? I wish it wasn't against the rules to have music. I took one of you guys' advice. I've turned the stereo on. Yesterday, as I said in the other video, I was having a hell of a day. Today kind of started out a little rocky. I went in, turned, started out with a DVD, and now I got the YouTube music playing. And man, I got this done, I got the hoist in. I'm having fun. <laughs> That thing sounds pretty good. Uh, so we're going to do the full break-in Sunday, tomorrow. 
because this video will have gone up on I don't need uh, let's see what is the date I don't even know what today's date is January 23rd 2021 so I guess I like that let's see I just to do in the full break into that tomorrow there is no smoke it is not even hazy in the shop this time stupid intake that old thing sounds pretty healthy it sounds pretty good so I guess everybody y'all stay tuned and during the live show tomorrow night well I'll probably do the videoing of it uh, so we got it for a record, and uh, I'm going to go find me a, a thermostat housing tomorrow. Get the thermostat in there, get her top back off of water. And no, it's not out of water. The water's still in the head because it's registering temperature. So that's just a little low. And uh, top her off and run it. And then that'll be another one done. And then uh, 40 over 400. I think we'll be next if I I got a, I've got an oil pan, but I might have to reweld it. So I might just break down the welder and reweld it so I could trust it. Because uh, it was a cheap pan that one other one like it didn't hold. So I might just take the time and weld her up. But yeah, last time I revved that motor up, this 357, off camera without you guys, I blotted out the sun. That's how bad it was sucking oil. I just revved her to, I seen four grand, and it didn't smoke, so. Alright, stay tuned. We're going to get this thing done, get this one off, make the next noise maker going. So, I know I've been saying I wanted to keep this 370, 357, but I guess if somebody wants it for their car, let, hit me up. Uh, I, I'd love to keep all this stuff, but it needs to start finding homes. I really think the 377 is going to stay here. I am really thinking about doing another a little, a little different a budget of a 377. That that one won't, won't be as expensive as this, but it'll be just still as just as much fun. So I guess everybody, take care. See you later. Have a good one.